G'day everybody, as promised, a little update on the new fish that we got. Everybody seems to have set it in quite nicely. There's the chorus wrasse. The dotty back. Oh, one of the cardinals. The other one's tucked away under there. I'll, um, I'll whack a picture of what the chorus wrasse transforms into again for you, for those who didn't watch the first video. He transforms, he's, yeah, into something awesome. And I'll also chuck a picture of what the parrotfish turns into as well for you guys, because that transforms into an awesome looking fish as well. So if you wanna see what they turn into after I put the pictures up, make sure you subscribe and follow me on the journey so a year or so down the track, you can see the transformation that these guys have made. See if I can feed and film at the same time. A bit tricky. So this is the same food that I feed outside. It's a mussel, scallop and prawn combination mixed with a bit of garlic and some spirulina. I'm not sure if everyone likes it as much as outside, but I thought I'd give it a go. But the little clownfish there's got himself a mouthful. I think you've bitten off a bit more than you can chew there, buddy. I've dropped my lights down too, guys and it's made quite a bit of a difference already everything seems so much more happy the anemone at the back there he's he's loving life a bit more now he's getting a bit more white hopefully i can get me hammer corals to get some of their green coloring back to them all right I'll, um, I'll poise these guys there and I'll take his outside and we'll um, do a bit of a feeding on the outside tank too. Alright, so we're outside now. In this tank, the Emperor Angel, believe it or not, is the boss. But at feeding time, the Harlequin Tusk doesn't mess around. Hopefully I can get some good footage of this. Get a nice big dollop. So I do this three times a day. They get one in the morning before I go to work when the lights are off. I might, um, I'll post a, a separate video one day of the three feeds during the day. So yeah, it's the same muscle, scallop, prawn combo in the morning at lunch. And then in the afternoon, I'll give them a bit of seaweed extreme or some nori. And then before bed, another, another couple of these, just to make sure everyone's super happy and healthy. I have started carbon dosing, but I don't know what it effect has actually done on the tank yet. I'll go get a water test done this Saturday and um, put the results up, because you do probably remember that my um, phosphates were in the red in the last test. We did do a 60% water change. I'll try and work out what that should have brought them down to and see in the next test if they are um, lower than what they should have been due to this carbon dosing. Fingers crossed, we're onto something. Then I can continue to feed as much as I do and not have crazy high phosphates and nitrates. We'll do one more of these. And I found out what these guys are. Oh, no wonder I have to feed the tank so much to keep these guys happy. They are actually 
baby sea mullet. And a sea mullet can grow to about a metre long, which is over three feet. Um, so yeah, at the moment, the smallest fish in my tank could well one day be the biggest. Imagine one of these growing out to be a metre in here. I don't think all of them are going to be able to do it. But hopefully when I start introducing some other predatory stuff, they can um, eat them. <clears throat> and I won't have to deal with ginormous mullet in the tank. But yeah, I'll chuck a photo up of what an actual sea mullet looks like fully growing. Crazy that I've got probably 20 of them just swimming around in here. There's me, me big hermy. Oh, Mr. Tuskfish. Trying to figure out whether I should call him Harley the Harlequin Tuskfish or Elon Tusk. <laughs> if you like either of those, chuck a comment down below. Say either Elon Tusk or Harley the Harlequin Tusk. I like either. I stole Elon Tusk from... Um, Rick and Morty. All right, guys, I'll leave it there for today. I'm Saltwater Steve. Until next time, guys, make sure, please, like, subscribe. Stay salty. You.